tired right i do get tired but youtube is like your job every day you have to walk my master the platform controls you that way you have no choice but to get up and go to work so if you see me here know that my boss wants me to work as hard as i am doing and i appreciate you for tuning in i appreciate your master for letting you tune in to see this video for giving you a break from work to catch up with my videos and if you're new hey my name is Lillian but if you are coming back as always I appreciate you and I hope you are subscribed to me if you have not do so by hitting the subscription button ensure you turn on the bell notification because that's the only way you get notified anytime I upload a new video I'm excited for this video okay so today we are checking out one of the prestigious universities in the country and uh, we are talking about the University of Professional Studies located in Accra Ghana so let's go check them out yeah I think we should start with this clip I would like to play these clips of the matriculation their matriculation day and uh, they had like 8,600 students matriculated the same day like really that's a lot of number no wonder this school is big and uh, a big deal so so let's go check out a whole lot of things and I'll be back. Let's go. Welcome to the undergraduate level 100 diploma postgraduate January matriculation ceremony for the 2023-2024 academic year. On behalf of the management of the University of Professional Studies, I welcome you warmly to this morning's brief ceremony. Our purpose here is to, to matriculate you students who have enrolled in the 2023-2024 academic year for the per programs leading to undergraduate degrees, diplomas, as well as postgraduate degrees for the January intake cohorts at the University of Professional Studies Accra. This is in accordance with Article 29 of the UPSA Act 2010. Don't let anyone hold you down. You see, secret is this. Find where you are valued in terms of groups, friends, business, wherever. Where you are valued is where you stay. Because this group of people may value you at 20%. Another group may see you as total junk. Another group may see you as a, as a gem. Stay with that group. That group will help push you. So know where you should be for starters. I'm really excited to be here in Accra, one of the leading prestigious universities in Ghana, the UPSA. I came here to represent my school to sign a memorandum of understanding with UPSA. The purpose of the meeting was to formalize what we have already been doing as institutions in collaboration. We started with our global leadership program and we are now moving into various areas of mutual collaboration. Uh, one of the 
programs that we have in mind is a, a one plus one MBA program that the students will spend one year, one year here in UPSA and one year in, in Buffalo. And uh, uh, so that's one of the immediate uh, first programs that we are envisioning. Likewise, they, we, are, we have uh, plans for many other programs, including a two plus two PhD program and so forth. And um, I hope this will be a wonderful opportunity for our, not only for our students, but also for our faculty to engage in this uh, new adventure. It was a delight for me to be here. It was such an honor to, to bring my colleague, Professor Suresh, with us to be the representative for the Dean of the School of Management at University of Buffalo. Welcome to UPSA, the University of Professional Studies at Brown. We're so honored um, to have you here. We're totally delighted and we can't wait to show you around our lovely, not too big, but not too small campus. One, two, three, four! GTA to the double B Y. There are many times you feel not right, tossing and turning through the night. As that day goes by, you seem like you're searching in the dark. But when the darkness turns to light, of the Faculty of Management Studies 2023! Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! It's time for dancing. Choir, please. A musical selection. of this they have school of that they have this they have school of this but let's let's um, give the law department uh, the spotlight for today because there are lots of departments in the school so but let's focus on law and i'll be back let's go hello i i am uh, professor oivind oakland from volda university in norway i'm very pleased to visit upsa uh, i was very happy when i first came to upsa it it is a very nice place. It's a very nice building, very nice location. Um, and the people and the staff here are very helpful and very... Uh, so I'm very impressed with the place and the people. Very hospitable and very nice place to be. Uh, we have now a very interesting cooperation. Uh, it's an Erasmus uh, project where we uh, have uh, mobility of faculty so right now we have three um, Ghanaian students from UPSA <coughs> visiting Volda University uh, this semester and I'm here to just uh, tell UPSA that I'm and we in Volda are very happy with the cooperation and we look so much forward to uh, continue it. Uh, we would also like to extend it to, to do more research, research together to find opportunities for research so that we can continue and strengthen our very nice and good relationship that we have started. I would definitely uh, 
recommend UPSA. It is a very nice place to study and I would so much like my Norwegian students to come here. So when I go back now, I will encourage Norwegian students to come to UPSA to use the opportunity we have with this cooperation to experience Ghana and experience UPSA and learn about you and your culture and uh, also gain knowledge from the courses that you have here. The UPSA Law School is a center of excellence in legal academia and research. Although relatively young, the school has quickly grown largely due to the solid and visionary leadership of the Vice Chancellor and the entire university management. We have the requisite manpower, the supporting institutional base, we have the infrastructure to support our work, and the team of faculty that we've gathered at the UPSA Law School are advancing the frontiers of legal education and teaching as far as um, the law is concerned in Ghana. We have two main departments, the public and the private law departments. We offer all the traditional courses. Aside that, we've also designed special courses to meet up with the growing market demands. And these courses include energy law, law and accountable institutions, information technology, media law, and competition law. We also offer two main LLB programs, the morning stream and the evening stream. The morning stream admits applicants with a WASI or with the SSC certificates, while the evening stream admits all applicants who hold first degree. So it does not matter whichever area you specialized, you are free to apply. In addition to providing instruction in the courses mandated by the General Legal Council for entry into the Ghana School of Law, the UPSC Law School makes it possible for students to prepare towards the achievement of another professional qualification. This is the Chartered Company Secretary's Practice Qualification. The one thing that we do not compromise on at UPS Law School is the quality and rigor of instructions. Therefore, our standards of assessment are high. We apply you know, very innovative pedagogy in teaching our students so that we can develop and train the best possible students um, as far as legal education is concerned in Ghana and churn out the, ultimately the best lawyers in Ghana in the country. The goal is to deliver quality legal education that is of a global standard. We ensure that all the activities of the school are well coordinated to be in line with the procedures and policies of the university. The management of the university have many strategic and intellectual initiatives which we work tirelessly to accomplish. The UPSC Law School is research oriented as a result of which various mechanisms have been put in place to promote research amongst members of teaching staff and to also develop the research skills of the students. The UPSC Law School also has a law journal, which is known as the UPSC African International and Comparative Law Journal. The aim of the editorial team of the journal is to attract top-notch academic papers. The UPSC Law School has world-class teaching and learning electronic resources. In particular, at the law school, we have uh, subscribed to LexisNexis. Uh, we've also subscribed to Westlaw, uh, Practical Law, as well as uh, Henius Online. The law school itself has built its own database of Ghanaian cases. Uh, these resources are akin to having the physical library. Data that you have, information you have put on the physical library, you will find them on the online resources. J.K. Rollins once said, when in doubt, go to the library. Welcome to the palatial, well-equipped, well-stocked UPSA Law School Library. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I always go back to look for alumni of a school. Not all the schools, okay? Some schools don't, you don't need to do that because their testimony is already out there. It's evidence like a lot of the um, past students from the schools, you already know now, they are doing amazing already. They are people you and I know. But um, I didn't know that Becca went back to school. I mean, here I am feeling like at this point, let my kids go to school, Jerry. What is it again? But looking at Becca's video today in this school is um, a source of motivation in a way. At this point, I'm thinking if I can afford it, I mean, I will, I should. I mean, I should go back to school. No one is too old for this. Let's go check her out and I'll be back. Let's go. I'm sorry. I, I told myself I wasn't going to cry, but I can't help it. 
because when I started this course, I told um, Mr. Kalan, I told him I don't want to be an ordinary student, that I wanted to live here with merit. And so I'm really honored to be here today. And so I'm sorry, my group one, I'm sure they are laughing at me by now, <laughs> MAPC. So, um, Chairman of the University Council, my sincere gratitude to all the lecturers for your commitment to excellence especially my female lecturers, as you all know, I could be quite biased when it comes to women. Dr. Linda Na and Dr. Matilda Asante, you are indeed role models. Dr. Henry, who took our creative classes. <laughs> yes, Dr. Henry, I'm sure you all <laughs> You have birthed a gold mine in all of us. And I remember the last time having a conversation, I said, I am a, I am a walking gold mine right now after this particular course. I'm sure we can all unanimously agree and attest to the quality of counsel by Dr. Kalan. He availed to us his time and attention when it was most uncomfortable for him. Ah, MABC class, we really stressed him. Mr. Kalan, we appreciate you so much. To all the lecturers, we pray that your fountain of knowledge will always flourish and replenish as you continue this beautiful task of imparting knowledge daily. You are indeed the backbone of this great nation, and may God bless you all. I really hope someone out there can be inspired by me or by this and challenge for even higher and better. To every parent, guardian, loved ones, we, the graduating class of 2022, would like to thank you for your support, for your care, love, and understanding through this period. We'd really appreciate your sacrifices tangible and intangible. Our great leader Kofi Annan said, knowledge is power. Information is liberating. Education is the premise of progress in every society, in every family. Being a mother now, a wife, a career professional, a singer, further my education seemed quite impossible. But thanks to my ever supporting husband, Dr. Sunny Daniel, who was always there to remind me that it was very, very possible. Go oh, is a beautiful thing. Someone like Becca, normally, normally, a lot of us would be like, what again? This is a woman who is at the peak of her career and all that, doing a whole lot, globally known, I mean, in terms of music. She's doing okay, in fact. All the loyalties from her music can sustain her. But she went back to school. For me, anyways, I haven't gone back to school because I cannot afford it at the moment. Yeah, I'm living right now for my kids. So, but if I get any opportunity i promise i'm going to jump at it and accept it and go back to school trust me i mean education is beautiful and knowledge is power but there's something i would like us to see in this video do you know that some of the social media jokes that we do it do get to people in real time like in real life a lot of people do go through a whole lot of things and you may be on the internet saying that mm, it's cruel, but in actuality a lot of people are affected in a way and i would like to leave us with these clips here yeah? take a look at these clips and i'll be back let's go the statement on the internet uh, that uh, a dutch passport is worth more than a ghanaian phd there's something terrible when that goes viral on the internet. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. And if it is so, it must not be so. It must not be so. We cannot allow it to continue to be so. Leadership. Leadership. That must be at the heart of our response. This was supposed to be like a joke, right? We see this on social media. We joke about it. Oh, oh. I heard about that. Like this was trending for quite a while and um, people were making fun of it. But is it funny? This tells you that it's not all the joke that you make. I mean, PhD, 
I mean, a Dutch passport over PhD. It's okay if you feel that way, that it's more valuable than a PhD in your own country or in Africa or, yeah, in Ghana, precisely because this was about Ghana. If you feel the Dutch passport is more valuable to you than a PhD in Ghana, it's okay. You don't have to bring it online because you are belittling a lot of people. You are hurting a lot of people, people that have put in their lifetime time effort you know in trying to achieve that or already achieved that and they see that as an achievement someone coming on social media to make a joke of it is wrong so we should be careful the information we put out there okay when we want to drag ourselves oh this one do this one hey, you are not up to me just um be careful because it gets out to real people in real times and it hits them real and these are elderly people mark short people that have you know given so much to their country close your eye for a minute and assume that we all choose canadian passport the british passports the american passport with dutch passports and then we all move to enjoy the dividends of being citizen of these countries so what about your own country who's gonna run it coming back to say that to people is wrong because no matter where you go home is home okay so let us limit our jokes all right and um, i do hope you enjoyed this video and be patient i'm taking a look at all the schools that you guys are suggesting i will check them out and see if they have videos that i can work with that won't be a problem for my channel i would do so and i do hope that you enjoyed this one i'll see you in another one ciao